My exhibition begins by introducing Wharton and the Age of Innocence. After this introduction, I present Wharton's lesser known interior design treatise, The Decoration of Houses. In this section, I include spreads with images from an 1897 edition of the book to show the sort of grand historic European palaces and mansions that Wharton and Codman drew inspiration from. I also feature facsimiles of the ornate end papers and leather binding of Codman's personal copy of The Decoration of Houses, images of which were kindly provided by Historic New England. I next emphasize Wharton's keen interest in architecture and design with some of the photographs of her homes that I've mentioned. The final two sections focus on the Age of Innocence. First, I look at Wharton's editing process and how it relates to the objects in the novel and the feelings of the interiors. Then I offer examples of the sort of objects and spaces that Wharton describes for two drawing rooms in the novel. I'd like to share a bit about some of my favorite objects in the exhibition. The section about editing The Age of Innocence features a number of manuscript pages. Reading specific edits that Wharton made reveals a number of instances where she worked through descriptions of characters using and moving through spaces in really interesting ways. The manuscript also charts her thinking about what types of objects appear in particular scenes, and ultimately suggests how crucial interior design is as a means of developing characters and establishing spaces in Wharton's novels. When I started looking at these materials last fall, I also learned about Wharton's writing process through the nature of these sheets. Many of the manuscript pages for The Age of Innocence are comprised of many strips of paper with writing glued together. Wharton cut acceptable portions of writing and pasted them onto other sheets of paper, sometimes attaching as many as seven strips together to make one very long sheet. I loved that I could read these pages not only to observe edits that Wharton made, but also to discern information about her writing process. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll take a few moments to view my online exhibition, Edith Wharton, Designing the Drawing Room, on the Yale Library's website.